Um, hello, my name is Matthew, and I started reading Dune. Uh, I'm reading it on my e-reader, and I'm 27% into the book. And at this point, I thought there's so much going on that if I don't tell you right now, there's a very slim likelihood that I'm going to remember all the stuff that's happening in this book. So I'm going to do this in installments. This is Dune by Frank Herbert. I wanted to read it in preparation for the upcoming movie. And the point that I'm at now is there's the, it's about 30% into the book, there's a dinner party, and the hosts of the dinner party are the new regime on this desert planet that's really strange. There's uh, some kind of spice that they mine that's a, a kind of drug, and there's gigantic worms that like the spice, they, uh, they're attracted to it or they're defending it, I'm not really sure, but they're monstrous and they kill all the people that are mining for this spice. And there's supernatural beings, some kind of alien race that uh, have like psychic abilities and can uh, tell if you're telling the truth and they have all sorts of other, I guess, special powers that I'm not entirely clear on at the moment. But this uh, new regime, it's a royal family. It's the Duke and his mistress and their son. And they're having a dinner party. And since there's a, a, new, um, a new family in power, uh, there's a conflict between the old customs and the new customs. And um, in the, the old ways, when they would have these big celebratory dinner parties, they would have big basins of water and all of the hoity-toity people would come in and scoop up water in their hands and then throw it on the floor. So they're just wasting water and then they would take a towel and wipe up their hands and like throw it out the door. And then after all of the guests have arrived, they take all these wet towels and they allow the beggars to come squeeze the towels and get a little bit of water because it's a, a desert planet and the water is so scarce that they even have um, like these machines that go around in the early morning to like uh, vacuum up dew and they wear uh, these suits these really special uh, insulated suits that uh, keep all of your moisture in you they collect the urine and the feces and uh, your sweat um, so water is like really really scarce and so it shows the elitist uh, tendencies of the rich people purposefully wasting the water just so they can give the beggars their crumbs that's where I'm at now but when I started this just I guess two days ago or a few days ago I, I was so overwhelmed I'm not, um, I'm not really well versed in science fiction. I, I, I don't, I just don't read it very often, and I have a limited knowledge and experience in the genre. And this book starts as if you're already in the middle of everything, like you're starting in the middle of the book, and there's already action going on. There's um, all of these like science fiction terminology, these words that you've never seen before. There's all sorts of different planets and different whole um, like whole family trees of people. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't remember now if if they are people or if they're all aliens or some are humans and other are aliens. And I was getting so overwhelmed with. All, all of these, um, all of the world building, the, 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 the descriptions and all of the different characters, and I wasn't understanding anything. And I talked, I talked to uh, a certain somebody, I won't say who, saying, I, I think I'm gonna stop. I, 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 I don't know if I'm gonna be enjoying this book. And the response that I got was, well, this is a book that 16-year-old boys enjoy reading. I'm sure you can figure it out, um, which is not a knock on 16-year-old boys, but it, it did um, f frame the reading experience. Like, this is something that I should be able, be able to understand. And um, at the 
point that I'm at now, it makes so much sense. Uh, when, when you're going to create a whole new world, a new galaxy, you're going to have a lot of explaining to do. And it needs to be front-loaded in order to have the story time pick up. Um, you need to understand, there needs to be a big introduction. There's going to be a lot of exposition and explaining just in order to get the reader, to get me to a point where everything's in context, I understand um, the, the power sets and the, the world that they're on and what's going on with the spice and what's going on with the people with the blue eyes and all of that. So it, it's it makes sense that it would be set up in that way opposed to like a murder mystery which I just read which will dole out details throughout the story to keep that element of intrigue and suspense and I don't know when it happened but there's a moment where I went from what is going on what's what's happening I don't understand that mentality, that that feeling, to going, what's going to happen next? And it's such a great feeling. You get swept in. And I don't know how much I actually care about all these characters at, at the moment, but the scenarios that they set up, that Frank Herbert set up, just pull, pulls you into this like exciting adventure story, I think. There's a moment where they're on the desert planet, and um, I guess they're in like a spaceship or like a flying cruiser, and they're with uh, someone that's gonna, like a tour guide, it's not a tour guide, but someone that's gonna take them out into the desert and show them around and show them the big rigs that they have to soak up or extract the spice and all the people that are working the, the rigs and all, all of that. And so they're out there, and it's the Duke and his son and the tour guide. Um, and then there's a rumbling in the sand. And so they, they realize that there's going to be one of these giant sandworms coming. And whenever there's a sandworm, it gobbles up the, the spice rig. And so there's like this really exciting, suspenseful moment of, are they going to get the people off? Are they going to save spice is the sandworm gonna destroy the rig is it gonna kill anybody all of those kind of things and uh, you just get swept up and I was having fun reading it uh, there's another great scene where we get a dynamic between um, the Duke and his mistress and the son um, I guess it's early on in the book. It's one of the more memorable parts of the beginning of the book. Where there's like this box or something, and they're going to stick... I might be getting the characters wrong, I can't remember, but uh, it's either the main, the main boy, Paul, or somebody. They're going to stick his hand in this box, and then they're going to... Like it's like an oven or something. They're going to turn up the temperature real high, and it's going to burn his hand off. And they say... If you flinch, you make move one muscle while we're burning up your hand, we're just going to kill you or kill everybody or something like that. And so the boy doesn't move a muscle. And they turn the machine off and they go like, all right, you can remove your charred stump. And then when he removes his arm, his hand is still entirely intact. And that means that it's some sort of magic box or there, there's uh, deception going on with the box so th that was a cool moment and we learned that the, the boy has special powers and the wife has special powers the duke I don't know sometimes I feel like he's villainous other times he seems like a really good um, leader of this world so he has a really interesting um, character about him really fleshed out um, and there's a whole bunch of there's all these there's all sorts of characters um, and uh, yeah that's it I guess I'll, I'll stop there but there's a whole lot going on in this book and I'm enjoying it and um, 
I'll look forward to the movie when it comes out. We'll do installments. Um, it might be three videos, four videos, could be two videos, but um, I thought I would tell you uh, my, my early impressions on the beginning of Reading Dune by Frank Herbert. Um, if you've read it, I'd love to hear your thoughts, um, or if you're looking forward to the movie, or anything like that. So if you would like, um, please leave a comment, and thank you for watching.